Hello. Welcome to Electrical Classroom. This video will provide you a clear picture about current, with few real-time examples. Before entering in the concept of current let us discuss about the basic structure of an atom. Atoms are the basic units of matter. Atoms are made up of three particles, protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons and neutrons are heavier than electrons and reside in the center of the atom, which is called the nucleus. Electrons are extremely lightweight and exist in a cloud orbiting the nucleus. Protons are positively charged particles and electrons have a negative charge and are electrically attracted to the positively charged protons. How do electrons flow? Whenever a sufficient voltage is applied across a conductor, a charge imbalance is produced, that can cause electrons to move through a conductor, from the point of higher potential towards the point of lower potential. This flow of charges is called electric current. Definition of current Current can be defined as movement of charged particles such as electrons, protons, ions, holes etc. Current is denoted by the letter, I, and is measured in amperes, A. The concept of current can be clearly understood by comparing it to the flow of water in a pipe. Tank filled with water, placed at a raised above the ground at certain height is analogous to that of positive terminal of the battery in a circuit, which is at a higher potential. Work done in lifting the tank filled with water is stored as potential energy in it. Water flowing though the pipe from tank raised above the ground is analogous to current flowing through the circuit. After reaching the lower tank, water loses its potential and becomes neutral. Hence lower tank is analogous to negative terminal of the battery. Rate of flow of water depends upon the position of control valve which is analogous to the resistance of a circuit, and level of water, H, which is analogous to voltage of the source. Direction of current flow. Electrons flow out of negative terminal of source, flow through the circuit, and enters into the positive terminal. But, the direction of conventional current flow is assumed to be from the positive terminal to the negative terminal, since the discovery of current. In case of semiconductors, direction of current flow is determined by the type of doping made. Unit of current. The SI unit for measuring an electric current is the ampere. One ampere is equal to the flow of electric charge across a surface at the rate of one coulomb per second. Electric current is measured using a device called an ammeter. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Please let us know your feedback through comments. You can also ask more questions and clear your queries through comments. Don't forget to like this video.